All right, so something I forgot to mention in the last video um, is how to register events within your services. So events are super crucial to game programming. Event-driven programming is huge within game programming. It's super crucial. Um, so I just want to make a quick video just covering that alone for the server side of the framework. So in order to create an event, you just register it within the init um, method of your service, so self. And there's an injected method called register event, and then your name. So we're just gonna make up some start game, for instance. Um, and it's probably best practice actually to uh, define these as constants. So event start game, like so. And we're gonna create another one called event end game. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do to register events within your service. Um, super easy, pretty straightforward. Um, so uh, the next two pieces that are like one, how do you call that and fire the event? And two, how do you connect to it? Um, so again, you could do this from other services as well, but for the sake of uh, just keeping things simple, we're just gonna do it from in here too. So in order to connect to it, you reference the service, in this case, just our self. So self connect event, and then the name of it. So event start game, for instance, and then the function. So that's all you have to do to connect to it. In order to fire it, self fire event, and then the event that you want. So we're just gonna say print event start game fired and again if this worked then we've registered the event we've connected to it and we have fired it once so we should see this print out when we run it so i'm going to run the code and we did event start game fired so that worked properly um, you can also pass parameters var args so i can say um, 32 high true it's just random parameters whatever we're going to say Nums f stream bool. number um, run that code and it prints out as expected. So you can pass parameters that way. Um, Again, you can connect to this event from other services. In fact, you can even do it from modules. So for instance, we created a cube. So we could even reference self.services.testService, connect event, start game function, start game, fired within cube. And again, we created a cube, so we should see that print out once too. And we do, start game fired within cube. So that's how you create events within services and fire them and connect them, all that good stuff. Um, pretty straightforward. There's also a way to create events that are exposed to the client, but again, we'll get into that in the next video. All right.